Hello. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we are going to be looking at this Pioneer Woman magazine. My awesome mom gave me this magazine probably about a week or two ago. And I said, ooh, this is the kind of magazine that I want to look at in October. Perfect for fall. But... I water damaged it for you. So it's going to be extra crinkly. <laughs> well, I tried to. We'll see how crinkly it is. <laughs> okay, but let's go ahead and take a look. Um, she matches perfectly with full. Look at her hair. Is that not the most orange kind of hair you've ever seen? And she matches, I'm assuming that this is her son. Assuming. I don't know. I don't really know anything about the Pioneer Woman. Um, but it says at the bottom here, it says, can, can you tell I'm a proud mom? Go Todd. I think that that is her son. I don't know though. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. It looks like we're going to be seeing 43 easy recipes. Apparently, she loves wool. There's an orange heart. There are cozy dinners, apple picking, and pumpkin layer cakes. Oh, yes. New books you'll love, like my comfy blazer. Family fun, great food for game night. I feel like this must just be like a food catalog or something, because isn't she, like, I feel like she might be on the Food Channel or the Food Network. I don't know. I really don't know anything about her. I was just very excited to get a catalog. Hopefully, it crinkles. Is that the same guy from the cover? His hair looks much darker there. For all chicken, chicken, all for chicken, chicken for all. I guess this is the number one chicken. I wouldn't know I'm a vegetarian. Talk to me. What is your secret for getting a tender, juicy, and delicious steak? Ugh, I don't know. Uh, it says that you need good fat marbling. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah. How long does it take to film an episode of the Pioneer Woman? She's able to do two episodes a day. Ooh. I have never seen the Pioneer Woman. I don't know anything about it. Apparently she's got some dogs, though. The Pioneer Woman Test Kitchen. I was just about to say, is this her real kitchen? I don't know about that. I have something similar to this. I don't think it's Pioneer Woman. But I have something similar to that pan. It might be Pioneer Woman, but it's blue. I don't know, my mom got it for me for Christmas. I use it all the time to make enchiladas. This looks like if you just walk into Walmart, because Walmart has all this like pioneer woman stuff, you know. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get all this stuff at Walmart. Hmm. Butcher block, I like that. And I love kitchens that have drawers. 
my mother in law has a kitchen like that. So awesome. I'm so jealous. We've got Pioneer Style. This looks like a crossbody bag, but it's camo. I don't really like camo, and oh my goodness, camo everywhere. A girl's guide to camo. Plastic wrap. Mm. No. Ugh, I just, I mean, I know lots of people wear camo. I just, I don't know. Maybe because I was in the military and I don't ever want to see camo again. <laughs> Five ways to style it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Find a fave. I think the only camo thing that I would ever probably wear is socks. Or maybe, maybe these shoes. Super not into camo. I like plaids and stripes, that kind of thing. I wonder if Walmart sells her clothes as well. You would think they would, right? Does she have a clothing line? Because it certainly looks that way. Get in, get an inside look at how Ray, Ray, I don't know what that said, creates the Pioneer Woman clothing line. I guess she does have her. None of this is giving me fall vibes. This just looks like country kind of stuff. Like, look at that. I don't think I would ever wear a cowboy boot. Ditch your hair dye, go gray. What? Going gray never looked so good. I mean, to be honest, I think my hair is getting lighter. And my hair has always been almost think it is gonna change and when it changes it's gonna all change at once because I have a lot of gray hair but I'm actually excited like I cannot wait to be having my gray hair and looking all old ladyish. I know a lot of people like try and avoid being old <laughs> not me I'm like gonna full on embrace it so prepare yourselves because my hair is getting lighter like pretty soon it's gonna look like and then it's just gonna all go gray. Or actually, it's gonna go white because the hair that I have, I do have white hair. I don't have gray hair. So it's gonna be like blinding white like that. Which is fine with me. I really like this. This, I don't think it's, I think it's supposed to look like a fireplace or something, but it's actually not. It's like shelves. But to me, I get a fireplace vibe from it. I really like that. Who are these crafts? Okay. I love crafts. And I'm loving this. Ooh, I think it's too late to do this craft. But maybe we could do this craft next year. Or maybe we can do it and like make it Christmassy. I don't like that one that much. It just looks like a bunch of coasters stuck together or something. But I like this one a lot. Three ring raffia. I've never known what to do with raffia, but this I can see. Hmm. You could do this for Christmas as well. Or Valentine's Day on like one of those heart wreaths. The best mother in the world. James Patterson and Chris Manny. Diana, William, and Harry. I love the Wright family. Every, everyone needs a nook. I know, I wish I had a little reading nook. That'd be so great. It's like I've been thinking about when the kids get older, I'm going to take away their playroom. Because they're just going to want to be in their rooms, right? Teenagers. They're not going to want to be downstairs. So I'll change their playroom into the dining room. And then the dining room 
because it's kind of more of a nook area. I'll change that into my reading nook. It'll be so awesome and cozy. <laughs> I say that, but I don't want to take away their playroom because they'll just change it into their gaming room, you know? Because they are huge gamers, just like the hubby. This looks kind of comfortable. Like, I like that. Oh, Megan. This, this isn't her home. This cannot be her home. It's an Airbnb. Mm. It's nice. And look at that grass. Like, I love it. got arch doorways or walkways. Some houses here have that. Yeah, little walkways are arched. I feel like my sister, the house she used to live in had arches like that and all the, the doorways and stuff. I don't like that. I like square. Let sleeping dogs lie. I'll be here if anyone needs me. Rusty. Let's see, which one would Ava like most? And they have all of these at Walmart? What? At least I think they're from Walmart because... Oh no, they're not. That looked like the little Walmart flower. With the blue, you know? So, they have them at Chewy, Wayfair, Petco, Wayfair, Lalo Beds, Chewy, and I don't even know what that says, so. But I like this one and this one. I like the ones that have raised edges so that she can use them as like a pillow. And she really does. She uses them as a pillow and it's so cute. Look at this. This is like a little dog. Bed frame. Fancy. Ooh, it looks like we're getting to cooking things. What's this? When it has to be precise, it has to be precise. I guess that's the name of the pin. What is this? What is this? It doesn't say. Let's see. It's a coffee drink, so I can't have it. My husband can have it. It's uh, pumpkin lattes. Mm. Breakfast specials. I'm hungry. Why am I doing this? You're probably going to hear my stomach growl. I don't know what this is. I can tell there's meat in it, but you can always alter whatever it is. Simple tomato salad. That's the simple tomato salad. This is a country scramble, so... Eggs, heavy cream, salt, pepper, bacon, sausage, brown sugar, ham, uh, shredded cheddar cheese, chives. Hmm. That seems like very fattening. Is she like the new Paula Deen? <laughs> Those potatoes look good though. Roasted potatoes. Seasoning salt, garlic, onion powder, black pepper, cayenne. Yeah. I don't have one of these little cast iron pans. I found a bunch of recipes where it's like you need a cast iron pan. But I never have one. But it's like I also don't know how to take care of a cast iron pan. I know that they're... Like you can't wash them or something. I don't know. Why does this look the exact same? Tuscan scramble. And then we have Southwest. Look at these. Don't they look the same? All of this looks the same. Except this one has chips in it. I guess if you just want something different. I don't know. Simply perfect. Oh, gross. I'm a vegetarian, and I'm the type of vegetarian that does not eat seafood. I know there's some that do. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I mean, it looks like the thing that you're eating. Gross. No, no. Cream.
creamy white beads that look green. What makes them look green? Rosemary, bay leaf, spinach. It's probably the spinach. Ooh, this is what we're talking about. Gooey triple chocolate cookies. I'm so hungry and now I want cookies. Family meals. Ancho, chicken burritos, skillet beef, shepherd's pie, personal pizzas with Brussels sprouts and bacon, sheet pan, sweet chili, salmon with bok choy, butternut squash risotto, slow cooker, maestro, cheesecake stuffed, peppers, chicken fajita pasta, hummus bowls, and roasted fall veggies. Uh, I wouldn't eat any of that. Maybe she's not the new Palma Dean, because I really liked the food that she made. I don't know if she does it anymore, but Palma Dean during the pandemic or whatever, she started uploading like weekly on her YouTube channel and oh my gosh I love it like she's gotten much older much older but she's still the same goofy lady you know pizza I don't know about Brussels sprouts I've never had Brussels sprouts I, I kind of want to try them my mom I think my mom said that they're kind of like cabbage and I actually really like cabbage I don't know what that is, but that looks delicious. Butternut squash risotto. I mean, maybe I'll try that. Soup. Nah, I'm never in the mood for soup unless I'm like sick or something. But then when you're sick, you don't want to cook. What is this? Chicken fajita pasta. Hmm. Maybe you could make that without the chicken. Dog chow. Mm, I don't know. I don't think Ava would like that. Hummus bowls with roasted fall veggies. I actually like hummus. I always thought that it was like gross and like, oh my gosh, look at these cute little animals. Mm. Um, but I tried it one time with these little corn, they were like blue corn chips or something like that. They're so good. So good. That looks good, but you know, meatballs. You can make all this stuff vegan though. Recipe a day cookbook for kids. Yeah. My kids would love that, by golly. They'd want me to cook it with them, like, every day. Maybe I could get something like this, but just do it, like, once a week or something. I don't know. My son loves cooking, though, and I make him think that if he cooks it, it's going to taste better. So now he thinks that his hands have power. So... We were making cookies, those little Halloween, like, just get them out of the refrigerator. They have, like, little ghosts or pumpkins on them. And I had him make them. You just put them on the pan. And, uh, but I was like, no, no, you have to put them on the pan. Otherwise, they're not going to taste good. And so he took his hand and he was like, <laughs> to use his power, you know. And then he put them on the thing and... Once they were done and cooled off, he was handing them out to everybody, and he was like, taste it. And they were like, wow, it's really good. He was like, that's because I made it. <laughs> he thinks that he is just the best little chef, but he always likes cooking. Uh, whenever I'm cooking, he loves me to tell him what to do. And my daughter likes to do it too, but they have to take turns because otherwise they'll that's what kids 
things do. Look at these. Cook your wings. You can bake, deep fry, grill, or air fry. And then you pick a sauce. Lemon pepper, garlic parmesan, chipotle lime, sweet and spicy soy. And then you make a dip. So I guess the sauce goes on the wings, but then you also dip them. We have ranch, sriracha mayo, green goddess, hot mustard. What is ranch? I've never known. So you have mayonnaise, sour cream, dill, chives, parsley, vinegar, garlic, salt, and pepper. Hmm. Whoever invented ranch is a genius. An apple a day. cupcakes count, right? Look at these apples. They're like picture perfect. Yeah. Like, okay. There's caramel drizzled on top. Delicious. So it's caramel apple cupcakes. Yum. Do you put apple in the cupcake? Or where's the, oh, applesauce. And then you use apple cider. For the frosting. I don't know about that. I don't like how apple cider tastes. Look at this. Apple pie cookies. Mine would totally not turn out like that. They'd be exploding out the sides and these would lift up and like curl up or something. It never turns out like that, does it? <laughs> Let's see. Slow cooker applesauce. I actually really love applesauce and my daughter hates it. And since my daughter hates it, my son hates it because she told him to. I really like applesauce. My husband does too. Caramel apple dip. Ooh. So we have butter, light brown sugar, heavy cream, cream cheese, roasted salted peanuts, and apple slices. Brown sugar with cream cheese is basically the dip. Yes. Oh, I'm getting real hungry now. Oh, look. You can get uh, a whole year of the Pioneer Woman for just $18. Nah. I'll pass. Mini apple pies. I think, like, the best part of this catalog, or magazine, is the recipes. I didn't care about anything else, but the recipes are like, mmm, the desserts are looking pretty good. Mini apple pies, I mean... It looks like they've got the crumble top. Oh, yes. Apple cider sangria. There's wine in there, though. I can't drink alcohol. I'm sure you could put, like, apple juice in there instead or something. What is this? Apple cinnamon bread. Can you see the chunks of apple in there? Yes. Hmm. Cinnamon, apple, vanilla, walnuts, Apricot, or apricot, however you say it, jam. Uh, I wonder if you like put that on the top, or what do you do with that? Oh, that looks real good. Full layers. Oh, I guess this is the pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting. Yes, please. Hmm. It says that I use canned pumpkin puree all the time in pancakes, smoothies, muffins, pie, and in this delicious cake. I saw an article that said that pumpkin puree is not really pumpkin puree. I don't know if it's true or not, but if you look at the can, it says pumpkin. But the FDA considers pumpkin, like, I don't know, it gives them weird description thing. So it's actually like a squash or something that you're eating. I don't know. You're gonna have to look it up because it was in some whole article deal and I was like, that, like what? But also, who cares? If it tastes like pumpkin, so what? You know? Down Home Reads with Jody Thomas. What is this, like southern reading things or something? We have The Wishing Quilt, The Lost Girls of Willowbrook, Secrets, 
before I go, murder at the Serpentine Bridge? Serpentine Bridge? I don't know. Look at this pumpkin. It's got little bumpies all over it. So does that one. I like how different pumpkins can be. Look at the stem on that. Like, my gosh. It's huge. Game on. Yeah. She cheers on her son, Todd. I wonder how that is for him. Going to a high school and your mom being so famous and like he's in a catalog you know I mean obviously she's a very proud mama and if I had a monthly or seasonal what is this called magazine yeah I'd be putting some stuff about my kids in there cause I'm a proud mama too but like is this hard for him like are people mean cause he's in high school right people can be jerks you know I bet she likes his uniform. Matches her fall. Magazine perfect. What is this? This looks like a cowboy. Cowboys are up close. A photographer captures the wonders of American ranch life. I guess where she lives, there's a lot of cowboys and ranches or something. I wonder why it's all in black and white. Maybe it makes it look more country? I don't know. Your country style must have Christmas. Christmas. Oh my gosh. Hallmark Channel Countdown to Christmas. What is this? Festive recipes, decorating, wrapping tips, and star photos and memories. Ooh. The field guide, eating outdoors. No, thank you. I don't like going outside. It's too gross. Country living backyard games. Country living kitchenware. Good housekeeping home skills. Get organized. Keep everything. To help hoarders. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't need this. I'm basically just, you know, Pinterest or according to my mom like everything is turning into TikTok there's TikTok versions on Instagram on Pinterest on Facebook even on YouTube now it's like crazy caption contest enter how to enter previous winner how to standing I'd be interested to see what the caption for this photo would be. There's just some random hand right there. What? Calling all fall foodies. Return to a place rich in holiday traditions where families and friends gather to celebrate and make new memories. Gatlinburg, Tennessee. The mountains are calling. I've never been to Tennessee. What do we have here? I guess some kind of cheese, ricotta cheese. I don't know. Those apples look good and the berries. Yum. I love, love fresh cherries. They're the best. Anyway. So, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.